welcome to session two, Nourish Your Mind and Body. Today we will explore how to nourish ourselves with yin yoga. Yin yoga is a style of yoga that holds poses for a period of time. As we hold a pose, you will begin to see the body and mind unwind and settle into a space of peacefulness. The session can be done anytime in the day or evening. So let this time be for you. As with other sessions, be kind to yourself and ease into the poses and see what you learn about yourself along the way. If anything hurts or just doesn't feel right, maybe just pause and allow yourself to just observe. Observe the body and how you're feeling within. This is all about nourishing yourself during this time of doing as you sit here on the floor with your hands resting on your knees, just invite the breath to come in. Come now to the side of your mat, coming into a caterpillar pose where we come forward and we just hold the pose. We are allowing the body to come forward. We are relaxing our shoulders, we're relaxing the abdomen, and just allowing our hands to just rest gently on the front of our feet. If it's too much in this pose, feel free to wedge a pillow underneath your legs. and see what you're feeling. too much. Now allow the one leg to be extended and just allow yourself to come forward. This is a little bit of a modification from when we first started. Again, we're going to settle into the pose and see how we can explore our body. What are we feeling? And to be symmetrical, what we do on one side, we will be doing on the other. So if you're following along and you extended your right leg, you're gonna fold over it. Or if you extended accidentally your left leg, that's okay, because we will meet the other leg in a moment. And allow, if you need it, as I said in the beginning, extra support underneath the knees that it's just too much because you've got tight hamstrings or tight quads. Please give yourself a little extra support. switch legs so the right leg is now extended the left leg is bent in it's almost like a seated tree pose that we're doing or a half butterfly pose feel the difference on the left side versus the right side we need to treat each up each of the sides the same even though we may not feel balanced on each side, we can't favor one versus the other. We have to treat them equally. We 
just have to meet our body where we are. out of that leg, remove the blanket or pillow from supporting it and seeing how it feels a little bit unsupported, but taking it at your own pace. It's not a race. Every day our body feels different than the day before. Now that we've warmed our legs up, we can come into a full butterfly position if it feels right, we may even be able to drape ourselves or forward fold over our legs from the butterfly position. Again, if you're needing a blanket underneath your bottom, please do that. Or if you need support of pillows or a blanket under each thigh, please do that as well. Again, just making sure you're symmetrical when you do it. Now draw your knees in together and just hug your knees in. Coming over, we're going to cross that right leg over the left. This is known as shoestring pose in yin yoga. So think of the shoelaces on your shoe. That's exactly what we're doing. If it's too much, just back it off. Just rest that ankle and foot on your side. But if it feels okay to bring it all the way over, then you can do that. This is a really good exercise to stretch if you're having any sciatica, piriformis, the quads are pulling, the hamstrings, like that whole area gets a really good stretch in this pose. If it feels good to just stay upright, you can stay upright. Or if you feel like you want to take this a little bit further, you can now draw forward um, into the pose and go a little bit deeper. Again, coming halfway out. It's going to protect you if it's too much to be all the way in a full pose. Bringing those knees back together again. Have the knees kissing and just hold them in. It's good to pause a little bit, take a deep breath in, exhale. And now you're going to take the left leg over the right. And coming into this kind of like half fire log type of pose before you would come all the way into the shoelace. Again, meeting yourself wherever you are. One side is always a little different than the other. And you can hold on to each of your feet in this shoelace pose. And you may feel it. And even if you want to, you can even pull each of your feet in opposite directions and feel a little bit more of a stretch. knees in again. Coming back 
this feet. And now we're going to transition all the way lying down, maybe putting something on your neck just for extra little bit support, drawing the arms up overhead. You're going to take your right leg out, maybe the width of your mat. You're going to cross that left leg over. You're going to take your left hand and you're going to hold on to the right wrist and we're in our banana asana position. And we're going to hold this. In a previous session, we've done this pose, but we did not hold it for a period of time. So as you may notice, we're building upon what we do in other sessions. We are drawing from the poses we began and bringing them back in subsequent sessions so that you get to repeat the poses and you'll begin to see how your body is responding and opening up more. This is a really nice full side body stretch. If it is too much to be extending your arms overhead, relax those arms at your side and just work on the legs initially. That left leg, you extend it over to the left, to the width of your mat or about six to eight inches from the other leg. Cross that right leg over at the ankle. Again, you're gonna take that right arm and you're gonna grab onto the left uh, wrist and just hold it and lean over to the side and feel that stretch on this side all the way up on the right side. So as you cross that right ankle over the left ankle, you're in almost that banana shape. And now coming back to center, stretching everything in. Now hug those knees into your chest, flex the feet. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Arms out to the side, allow both legs over to the right, palms facing up on both hands. If it's accessible to you, you're going to turn your head to the left while the knees are kissing one another over to the right, keeping the knees and the feet, everything together. This is a twisting pose, known as twisted root. And you're kind of wringing out that midsection. This is very good for digestion, and it's very good for your back, the low back. Some people really feel it through the chest, through the shoulders and how we're opening up the chest, we're opening up the shoulders. And drawing the knees in for a moment, just holding right there. Taking another deep breath in, exhale. going to be letting the legs falling to the left. And we're turning our head to the right. So the head always goes in the opposite direction of the way that the legs are going in this twisted root position. And you can hold on your left hand on that right outer thigh as you're twisting. And then your right arm would be extended, palm facing up. And just feel the difference of this side versus the other side. Going to 
those knees into the chest, flexing those feet. Taking a deep breath in, exhaling, really making sure their shoulders are relaxed. And now we're going to come to happy baby. We allow the legs to relax open. You can put them side to side. Just feel at this moment like you're a little kid. You might even hold on to the toes, hold on to the feet. If you need to, you hold on to the calves, hold on underneath your, um, the knees, and just rock side to side if that feels right, or just hold this pose, or if you're not feeling it today, just hold those knees. Extend those knees out. Now extend one leg down, right leg down, left leg down they will be a, almost hip width apart and allowing the arms to just open up. And if you're wearing glasses, I would say just take those glasses off. And this is corpse pose or surrender pose. This is where we just don't worry about what's going to happen after this. Don't worry what happened before this. Just surrender to this moment and this time. to you four sayings and let each one come into your mind and then let the one go and then I'll you'll hear the second come in joyful energetic body loving compassionate heart Lightness of being. Reflective, alert mind. Keeping your eyes closed, allow yourself to feel peace and calmness wash over you and surrender to this feeling. back, coming over into your side, allow your body just to relax. And when you're ready, you can make your way up to a seated position. your eyes open or closed, hands together. The light in me honors the light in you.